Brought to you by Aspen Avionics, the most flexible and affordable glass cockpit system. And by the Bose A20 Aviation Headset, their most advanced pilot headset ever. Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from Sun and Fun for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. Behind me is a Liberty XL2, which has a Continental IOF 240 engine. Been a very successful power plant for Liberty. But here at Sun and Fun, we found something interesting, and here it is. And this is it. This is a Rotex 912S, 100 horsepower. And here's Keith Markey, the company CEO, to tell us why it's in here. If you uh, take a look at this installation we have here at uh, Sun and Fun 2011, uh, it is the Rotax 912S, which is the certified version of the 100 horsepower Rotax. The, the, the key reason that Liberty is looking at this installation at this time has really been driven by uh, fuel requirements uh, internationally. Over the last uh, two years, uh, Asia has been the largest demand for the Liberty, and in fact, this year will be uh, the majority of all of the Liberties will be delivered into uh, uh, countries like Indo Indonesia, Malaysia. Uh, in China where uh, getting 100 LL gas has really been difficult and of course uh, anybody that's been following the development of the Rotax uh, engine will know that it is approved for auto fuel so that's a very very important driver for us in this particular marketplace. The airplane that we have at the show this year is, uh, is actually the STC platform that we're using to certify the engine on the aircraft so this is uh, going to be the actual test airplane and when we're done uh, the goal is going to have it certified uh, for flight for either retrofit or uh, for production and we believe it's going to be um, a very very popular airplane in, uh, in the developing economies in Southeast Asia. Uh, the IO240 um, uh, and it's the F version, the FADEC version, uh, has been a very good engine for us um, over the last five years. Probably the largest difficulty now that we see in the international markets is, is demand. And uh, while uh, the demand for training aircraft is clearly growing in those areas, uh, the demand for alternative fuels is growing also. Um, and when we went out and looked for uh, really uh, a, a, an engine to meet that particular market, uh, the real keys were having to have that alternative fuel, but also having an engine that has uh, years of proven in-service life. Um, and, you know, following what's developed with the Rotax, it's uh, migrated from what I would call at one time viewed as, as an entry-level engine in the kit plane or potentially ultralight market now to being accepted as really a premium certified uh, engine for light aircraft. And in this case, with the XL2, we not only get the benefit of of the of the different fuel, the ability to burn auto uh, fuel in the engine, but we also uh, pick up about uh, 150 pounds uh, in uh, useful load because of the you know the the lightness of the installation, the supplemental type certificate airplane that we'll be certifying it on. So as soon as the STC is available, uh, we will be going into production with this particular engine on the airplane as a standard installation. And at that time, anybody that wishes to do an engine change will be able to pursue it under an STC also. We would like to think that this project will be completed before year end.